What's going on guys, Ricky in the Flip Lab, and tonight I'm gonna go over the number one question I get on social media, which is, Ricky, I wanna get started in real estate, but I don't have money for my first flip. So tonight I'm gonna go over the best type of money that you can find, which is private capital. Over the five people in your life that can fund your next flip, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Stay tuned. And if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button on the Flip Lab channel. More podcasts and content coming on the way. The five people in your life, here's number one, guys. Family and friends. This is probably gonna be the most common one for you guys to be able to get funding and the most attainable. Now, a lot of people think when we're talking about family and friends that, wait a second, I don't have any wealthy uncles, country club type folks in my life um, that I know that just have money to give to me. That's not always going to be the case. Um, just to give you an example, just in our business, we paid out over $100,000 in interest this year, and mostly it has been to family and friends. Two of our investors are 60-year-old guys. These guys wanna diversify their money out of the stock market, out of their 401k, so they can actually lend out of their 401k into our real estate deals. Now, we pay all of our private lenders 10% interest only on the back end when we sell our flips. So. Um, you know, for these older guys who are used to safe and secure investments, this is a really good option for them. Why? Because number one, they're in first lien position on the property, which means that for some reason, if we defaulted on our loan, it's backed by real estate. Also for our private investors, once they trust us, this is probably the easiest way they can make money. We tell them how much mon money we need for the purchase and the rehab. They cut us a check and they don't do anything else. Um, we take care of the purchase, the rehab, selling the property, and then when it does sell, we pay them back all their money plus interest, and usually they tell us that they wanna put their money back to work. It's very hands-off, very passive for them, which that's what these you know old-school conventional guys like. So seek out people in your life that might be getting close to that retirement age. You have to just make it known that what you do and the value that you provide, which is the fact that you can pay people 10% interest on their money, or maybe you, know, you have to sweeten the pot when you first get started. You might have to give these guys a little better deals or even equity in the deals in order for them to trust you. Number two person in your life that can fund your next flip is going to be coworkers or colleagues. Here's the thing, a lot of people wanna get started in real estate, but once people realize how much work it actually is, a lot of people realize they don't have time, especially people with full-time jobs. And the problem that a lot of people with full-time jobs, W-2 earners have is they don't know how to really invest outside of the traditional 401k or maybe a little bit in the stock market. So here's your chance to dabble in real estate, um, but they don't have to do all the work. Even if a few people have, let's say 15, 20 grand in the bank, you can get multiple people in on that, bring them in as equity partners or find a win-win situation. That's really the best part about private money guys too is you're in control of the terms. So unlike bank loans where the bank's gonna dictate what terms you get, when do you have to pay back the loan, what interest rates you're gonna get, private money, it's all up to you. So you can do as little amount as you want. You, you're in control of the interest rate, the terms, the balloon, um, the equity that they might have in the deal. The best way to find out what makes sense to them is ask them, hey, if you were to get in on a deal with me and I kind of do all the work, I find the deal, I fix it, um, and you fund it, what type of a return would you like to see from that? and see what they say. Number three is social media, guys. I can't tell you how important social media is. It's why I'm doing videos like this. All of you guys should be posting, whether it's your first deal or your hundredth deal, that you guys are flipping houses. People like to do business with people that look like they're doing business. So if you're constantly posting new houses you're buying and flipping and renovating, that's gonna open up a pool of masses. Um, you know, social media, people from across the country could be investing in your deals if they believe in you and trust you based upon all, all of the action that they're seeing on social media. You should be posting every time you're renovating a flip, you're buying a property, you're getting a contract signed, you're talking to sellers, you're fixing problems. You need to be posting all of this on social media. Focus on one platform to start, grow that platform up as much as you can, and then start posting on, on other platforms as well, guys. But if you're in 2021, 2022, we're going into, and you're not on social media, you're missing out on a massive opportunity to the largest pool of investors that can fund not just your next flips, but possibly your entire real estate operation as you, get, as you grow and maybe wanna get into bigger projects. It's really limitless 
on, on the internet. Number four way to find people to fund your next flip is going to be uh, networking and social events. This could be hikes, different book clubs. It could be um, joining a golf club or a tennis club. The way to get lucky and find, you know, that guy you met at the country club who then funds all your deals is you have to put yourself in those positions. So if you're not doing anything, you're staying home, watching Netflix every day, you gotta get yourself out there in the community and let people know exactly what you do. And the last person to help you fund your next flip is actually finding a flipper in your local area to partner up and JV with. So especially if you're brand new, this is a great option. You're probably gonna have to pay them a high fee though. Maybe even give them 50% of the deal. But if you bring them a good deal at a deep discount, totally be worth it. Because here's the thing, they're not only going to show you exactly how to execute a flip properly, but now you've also built another relationship where the next deal you come by, you know, if you have questions, concerns, you need some help with, now you have someone that you could collaborate on future deals with. This is always a good option as well. Um, if you're brand new, don't be scared to give away equity. Experience is much more important than profit when you're first starting out. So just remember that. Don't get greedy on your first few flips. If you have to give e equity away, especially to an investor who's gonna show you how to properly execute an entire flip, because let's be honest, there's a lot of things that come up um, during a renovation, during a buying and selling process that you as a new investor might not know exactly how to handle. So having an experienced guy right there with you along the way be extremely beneficial to you. So use these five people in your life, guys. These could be the only people that you need to fund the rest of your flips moving forward, where instead of paying a bunch of interest to these big institutional banks, you could be paying interest off to like we did, 100 grand this year to family and friends. The, the beauty about private money is you don't need a great credit score, you don't need proof of income, you don't need a track record of success. You just need someone to believe in you and to trust you uh, with their money. You have to make sure you're educated, you're buying good deals, you're doing the right things. Um, if people are gonna trust you with their money, you gotta treat it better than you would with your own money. No more excuses about how you can't fund flips. I don't wanna hear that excuse anymore on social media that you don't have money to get started. I made a YouTube video a few months back about how to get your first wholesale deal with no money. To get your first flip though, guys, um, you can always use hard money loans. Uh, flip Lab Capital, we do fund hard money loans to fund up to 80% to new investors. So that's always an option. Check out the link in my bio if you wanna fill out an application for a hard money loan. Then you wanna always transition into private money loans. Private money loans will always be the best type of money. Even if you're super successful and wealthy, you should still be using other people's money and never your own money on flips. Do not use that, you know, not having money as an excuse of why you're not getting started when it comes to flipping houses.